Welcome to an overview on how to use your new Yaling desk phone. This phone offers users a selection of function keys. Hard keys are physical buttons on the phone that never change. Here you will see your dial pad. To the left of the dial pad, you will see your toggle keys, which allow you to access call history, directory, and the main menu using the arrow buttons. Below the toggle key is your volume key. To the right of the dial pad, you will find the function keys. Mute, Headset, Voicemail, Redial, and Speaker. The Speaker, Mute, and Headset keys will illuminate when in use. The buttons on the side of the LED screen are programmable. They are most commonly used to answer a line and show if another extension is available or unavailable. At the bottom of the screen, there are function keys. These keys will change depending on whether you are on an active call or not. When the phone is inactive, the user will see History, a quick reference of the most recent activity, Directory, D&D, or Do Not Disturb, Menu, where you will find Language, Ringtone, and other customization tools. Almost everything on your phone menu should be accessible without a passcode and safe for users to change. But if it requires a code, please call support. There is no wrong way to make a call on your Yaling phone. Pick up the receiver and dial keypad, dial keypad and pick up the receiver, use the keypad to dial and then wait for the speaker phone. Just like dialing out, incoming calls can be answered in many ways, such as picking up the receiver or pressing the speaker phone key. Users will also note the function key options will change to answer, forward, which forwards the calls to another extension without answering, silence, which silences the ringer but does not end the call, and reject, which sends the caller straight to the user's voicemail. When the phone is on an active call, the function buttons change. The user will see transfer, hold, conf or conference, end call, the center of the screen will show a timer and the length of the call. Yovu Office Phone gives the users three options when transferring a call. A warm transfer allows you to privately speak to whom you are transferring the call to before the transfer. To warm transfer, use the soft key labeled transfer. Enter the number or extension you want to transfer to and press send. The other side picks up and you can introduce the caller to complete the transfer, press transfer. A cold transfer, also known as a blind transfer, is where you simply transfer a call without any introduction. To blind transfer, we also use the soft key labeled transfer. Enter the number or extension you want to transfer to and press B transfer or blind transfer. Then the caller has been transferred to the other extension. Additionally, if buttons are configured to monitor another extension at any time, that button will blind or cold transfer to that extension. A voicemail transfer is the same process as the other transfers, but prefix the extension with 03. For example, to transfer to extension 9049, we transfer to 039049. The caller will be transferred directly to voicemail. Conferencing allows the user to connect multiple callers on the same call. To conference someone into a call, press the conference soft key. Enter the extension or number of who you want to conference in and then press send. You are connected to the second caller. The original caller is still on hold until you press conference again. If you hang up, the conference will continue with the other callers. When you have a voicemail, the light on the top of the phone will flash to alert you. To access the voicemail, press the voicemail hard key. When asked, enter the password and follow the prompts. When finished, hang up. Voicemail pins are provided by either your office administrator or from your Welcome to Yovu email. Your voicemail pin is completely customizable. Reach out to support at my.yovu.ca if you have any more questions.